Okay, in this video, I'm going to show how to bake out maps from Substance Painter. I can see that I have ambient occlusion actually baked out, and you can see that the shadows are actually kind of burned into the textures, okay, in the texture map. And on this one, you can see that I actually have a material, a gold material, and all of the highlights and shadows are actually baked in, so um, it's not relying on any lights in the scene, and... Um, and stick around to the end and then what I'll do is I'll show how to actually bring the ambient occlusion and and then bring them together um, and kind of have a combined map so the ambient occlusion will be um, also affecting this one over here. So um, really simple to do but not obvious. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Substance Painter here. So if I go ahead and click on that. Okay, great. Now uh, to get just to get going, I'm just going to click on start painting here. And if I do that, uh, meet Matt, okay, comes up. And here he is, our friend. I can see that he's divided into head, body, and base. Okay, so three different uh, maps here. And so if I was bringing in my own model, I would go file new, uh, PBR metallic roughness, alpha blend. It's fine. It really doesn't matter which one you choose here. Uh, you would select your own file. Document resolution, I usually put it at 4096. Leave all these unchecked and click OK. Then I would go over here to my texture set settings. And if you don't see it, it might be um, one of the tabs here. So I'll go to texture set settings. And the next step that you have to do is come down here and go to bake mesh maps. Now I can see that Matt was already set up. He already had his maps baked. But if you're bringing in your own model, You'd click on this, and you could be 2K or 4K, however big you want your resolution. You'd want to make sure that all of these are checked, and then you just click on Bake Selected Textures. Then what that would do is it would produce these maps. Okay, great. Now what? Well, now I can see that here's our, our character, and I can hold down Shift and right mouse click. I kind of rotate my lighting and everything. But... um. The baked maps, if I go up to the corner on either of the viewports, I can come down here and I can see things like ambient occlusion. And so if we look at this, what it did is it found the crevices and it actually produced a shadow if it was touching something. So I can see like for the base, for example, since his feet were touching the base, it created this nice kind of shadow effect. And you can see that it, it's like it painted black there. Okay, to kind of create a shadowing effect. Um, and it did that in all the crevices. So that's what I want to get out of Substance Painter. Normally, if I go to Material, when we go to Export our textures, it would export whatever our material is, not necessarily the baked maps. And one of those baked maps is Ambient Occlusion. But if I want to export out Ambient Occlusion, I'm going to go and select ambient occlusion here. It doesn't matter which one I'm on here. Now I'm going to go to File, Export Textures. And then here I'm just going to select a folder so I know where it's going. And I'll say My Baked Maps. Here it is. Okay. And now here I'm going to say the output template. This is the trick. I'm going to scroll all the way up to the top and go to 2D View. And what that does is it exports this view. In this case, I'm showing the ambient occlusion channel. So I'm going to go to 2D view. I'll leave everything alone. And I'm going to go ahead and click on export. Now, if I come into Maya, okay, I'm just going to go ahead and, um, oh, and by the way, if I want to bring in the mesh, if I want to bring in matte, I'm just going to go like this, file, export mesh. And then I unchecked apply triangulation. That's how I got them in there. Okay. So now let's go back into Maya. And um, and by the way, I think this was set to one. So the screen was a little bit darker. Um, but if you want to brighten it, you can increase that. I'll just leave it at normal. Um, now, I'll go ahead and give this guy, um, I'll go ahead and select these guys. And I'll just give them a default Lambert. Okay, there we go. So now this is how they come in like normal. And I'm going to apply that ambient occlusion to this guy. So to do that, I'm going to click on this. I'm going to right-click, assign new material. 
um, and I'm going to use my AI standard surface. Since I'll be using that a lot, I'm going to say add to favorites. There we go. Um, so I'm going to choose AI standard surface. And now under color, I'm going to go ahead and put that uh, file. So if I go back here, my baked maps, here's his head. There it is. That's what it baked out. And I can put that in there. Now I'm going to select his arms and his body. Assign favorite, because now I added my favorite. Here's AI standard surface. Go to color. I'm going to go ahead and put his body. And then if I come down here, once again, assign favorite AI standard surface. And the base. Okay, great. And maybe I'll bump this up. I'll just put this at like 1.5. Okay. Or let's try two. Let's see what that looks like. There we go. Now I can see a little bit better. Um, and if I look real close here, I can see things like this line in the back where the seam was, also right here. And if I move this, I can see that, yeah, it did work, right? It did, um, you know, it burned in those. Um, that ambient occlusion as I want. It looks like I've got a, something extra there. Um, but I'm seeing these lines. So if I look at my UV, if I look at my textures here, I can see that that's what my map looks like. And I believe what's happening is that this UV shell is right up next to this black line. Okay. And it's so close. So I feel like what I want to do is I want to stretch this color beyond the border there to avoid that, you know, to avoid this. So very easy to do. Back in Substance Painter, on my export textures, I'm going to make sure that padding dilation infinite is set. Okay. Now if I hit export, it's going into my bake maps, 2D view. Now what it's going to do is it's going to stretch those borders. So now if I go back into Maya, if I select, and here you can see it, stre it stretched those colors. So whatever color it was at the edge, it just stretched it to the next one. So if you see that kind of weird stretching happening, that's on purpose. Okay, that's to avoid that problem that we just saw. And now if I look at this, I can see that it actually corrected it right there. So that's what I want. Okay. So that's cool. So if you wanted to get any of the other maps out, um, like if you wanted to get your color ID out, you could get that out or the position or whatever. Um, I don't know why you would want maybe the other ones, but I feel like ambient occlusion is one that, you know, we often want to get out of there. But just to kind of show this another way, let's say if I brought in this gold pure, okay, and let's say if I added that to my character. And I'm not seeing it because I need to be in material. Okay, great. And I can rotate my lighting around and you can see that it updates uh, not only here but also in my 2D view. So if I look at these. Okay. And then when I rotate this around, now what I could do is I could um, export this out. Okay, same way that I did before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a folder in my um, in my baked maps. Okay, so here's my baked maps for my ambient occlusion. I'm just going to do a new folder called the gold. And now, if I go back to my Substance Painter, I can go File, Export Textures. And I'm just going to set that to gold so it doesn't overwrite the other ones. Once again, I'm going to set it to 2D view. And yeah, dilation infinite so we don't have those seams. That's good. And um, I'll hit export. And I, I want to make sure that all of these are checked so it's doing all the texture sets. There we go. I can see it did them all. And now if I look at that result, I can see here it is gold. And there they are. So now... Let's go back to Maya, and I'm going to put that on this one here. So I'm going to go assign 
new material. Okay, AI standard surface, color. Um, and it's in gold. There we go. Open that up. And you can see that now the reflections are there. It's not going to move. It's not going to be dynamic. Um, so I feel like that would be more of a background element in something um, to save on system resources. But you're kind of foregoing complex you know, reality. And, and maybe you wouldn't even do this, but I'm just kind of showing the possibility here. Okay, and then you can get creative kind of with maybe why you'd want to do this. Um, okay, so now if I come here. All right. So that's cool. I can see that we've got all the, the shadows. Um, I, I got this kind of complex gold material baked in to the character. But let's say if I wanted to combine the two. Okay, for that, what I might do is open up Photoshop. And I'm going to just go ahead and kind of close out all these and then go ahead and open up. Um, here's my, uh, let's see, so if I go to my, uh, my baked maps, here they are. And then if I open up the gold, okay, excellent. Now what I could do is I could simply take this one, control A, control C, and then go over this one, control V to paste, and then just set this to blending, blending mode to multiply. Then I'll take the body, control A, control C, put that over body, control V, set that to multiply. And same with the base, control A, control C, control V to multiply, or, and then set it to multiply, there we go. Now I have the burn shadows on the gold. So now I'm going to go, um, I'm going to save this, file save scene as. I'm going to call this uh, gold AO. And um, this is the head. And I want to save this. I'm going to say uh, save a copy. Gold. Okay, so this is head. I'm going to call that um, 01 gold AO. There we go. And then I'll go to the body. Save a copy. Body AO. Excellent. And last but not least, if I come here, file, save as. Oop. Gold AO. OK, excellent. Now I'm going to bring, um, just copy a third version in here. So if I take this, Control D. Now, if I come here, I'll assign my favorite AI standard. And then it's going to be the gold with the ambient inclusion baked in. And the body, and then the base as well. So let's see what that looks like. All right, there we go. Okay, cool. And now you can see what it looks like with um, you know that shadow kind of baked into that so maybe you want to do that only to your color map right most likely you know something with reflections and shines you probably wouldn't want to bake that on but if you baked it on your your regular color map 
that could be a really powerful thing that you could do. So hopefully that was helpful to kind of see this idea of uh, baking and um, the power of baking textures and how simple that is to do in Substance Painter. So make sure, um, think about subscribing and or leave a comment below if you found this helpful. See you next time.